if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin. I will hear from heaven and forgive all their sin. I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin. And From 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Do you know healing your land? It, it, it is so marvelous to see God step in. And take care of what you can't handle. To see his miraculous hand get things done in your life. Out of your control. And it's not because you deserve it. But God honors effort. He honors a pure heart. He honors a humble and contrite spirit. He doesn't, he, he detests pride, arrogance, rebellion. He says rebellion is as the witch is as witchcraft. You know, we have to decide how we want to live our lives. What do we really want to get out of this walk with Christ? Because even when we look at our country, we look at any group of people, any church, any neighborhood, any city, state, whatever. You know what God says in his word? Righteousness exalts a nation. Can you imagine how much higher we would soar if we were determined to live a righteous life? I know the Bible says we all fall short of the glory of God. I know that. But that doesn't give us a license to fall short. We fall short while we're pushing up. While we're striving for perfection, we're going to stumble over our own feet. We're going to stumble over our own flesh. But we're striving for perfection. There are times you have to obey to the point of tears. You don't want that person to tell you off and you don't do anything about it. You don't want them to get away with murder and you don't retaliate. That's not a good feeling. Walk away with egg all over your face, feeling like a fool. 
feeling like you look like a fool in front of everybody when you know you could turn around, do a Zorro on them and slice them up with your tongue. You know you could do it. But because you love God, you eat that crow and you walk away with your head hung down. But see, God vindicates us. He honors obedience. That's why he says in the scripture, the Lord has not forgotten your labor of love. You know, it's a labor of love to do everything God's way, even when it hurts, even when we feel humiliated, even when we feel like we come out on the losing end and the enemy wins after being altogether wrong. But we don't realize how much we really won. We won the battle, but we can't see it because according to man's math, we lost horribly. Righteousness exalts a nation. If we could just be determined to live our lives with hearts full of God's type of love, agape love, and hearts determined to live holy. The blessings of God can be overwhelming. He will come on you and overtake you with blessings. Deuteronomy promises that in Deuteronomy 28. We have the promises of God, but does God have us? That's my little quick word. I hope you enjoyed my little song. I wrote that back in 1982. <laughs> God bless you. Be blessed.